Good morning, guys. It's just before 5 in the morning on my day off. Let's go on an adventure. All right, guys. Looking at the website, the numbers still look good. This is the life of flying standby, guys. I have numbers right here. I have a plan for today. It is Monday, the 5th of December. And most people are at work, but me, I have an adventure planned for us to go on together. And let's hope it works out. But right now, I have to take my lazy ass here to the airport. About the same time that I've been getting up for work the last six days in a row. Because I'm dumb. But, you know what? It's still going to be fun. It's early on a Monday, but guess who's not working? This guy. Let's hope this works out, guys. Still looking good. Goodbye, buddy. You gonna miss me? Huh? I won't be gone that long this time. Okay, buddy? Who do you think you're going with? Unfortunately, you can't, Sophie. You can't go with, baby. I won't be gone for that long, okay? Everything is frozen over right now. Holy shit. Uh, if everything goes as planned, uh, this adventure should lead us into tomorrow night, and uh, we'll be getting back tomorrow night. Uh, I'm going to take you guys with me uh, through a lot of walking uh, in a car, buses, trains, planes. Uh, first flight should only be less than two hours. Second flight, if we make it, about more than four times that so guys this could be exciting or it could just be a complete bust and we could not get on anything so let's hope right now uh, let's defrost this car and get to the airport what have I packed for this trip one bag there is a coat in there uh, something to charge my cell phone with uh, my passport and um yeah, that's about it. Oh yeah, that looks good enough. I think you were safe to drive. You guys, a little bit about this process. Right now, we are heading to catch the Delta bus from the building that I park at every day for work. Um, whether or not I'm working on the ramp or working on a massage job at the Minneapolis airport, I park in the parking lot on the north side of the building. This time we're parking on the south side of the building to take a free bus that they have for us so we can park for free and then travel and I can keep my car there for a week, which hopefully I won't need it for a week. Let's not get stuck anywhere, guys. My chariot awaits me. Let's hope I remember where I put my car. Because uh, I'm going to have to get it tomorrow. Benefit of getting up so early Please and hang to the... The tram is departing the station. Rude. The best part of getting up so early and making it to the airport is... You get your own... Get your own train. Your own tram. Guys, we're heading to ticketing. Uh, part of standby is I can check in online, but I can't print my boarding pass or use my phone for my boarding pass, so I have to go print. And uh, so far, this first flight's looking like it is for sure us getting on. Um, second flight's a little bit longer, and that's like, it's not for like six hours still, but, um, eight hours but uh if we don't get business class for the second flight we're not going so let's hope all 
Alright, that was fairly painless. I had to print out three boarding passes. Because we're actually going to three different locations today. Well, today it's going to be. Alright guys, through security, first airport of four today. So uh, we're going to fly into one in the city that we're going to now, and then fly out of another one in that city, into a different continent hopefully. But now the fun part of standby begins, now we wait and see if we get a seat. Morning. All right, made it to Chicago. Um, got a couple hours before what I came for opens up, so uh, first things first, need to get some coffee. Um, I guess I can tell you guys uh, something I do in Minneapolis a lot is uh, go to the Irish fair because I'm fascinated by other cultures. Well, I'm mostly German. I'm not Irish at all. And here they have um, a, a German organization that runs a holiday market. And so we are going to a Christmas market with a lot of German food and um, drinks and all kinds of fun stuff. But coffee's first. I was so tired on the plane that I left my Coke Zero. God damn it. Oh well. I think I got like 20 minutes of sleep. It's hard to tell on a plane. lamps. It's freaking warm in here. This is Midway Airport. I'll be going to O'Hare to uh, fly to the next destination, but I don't mind. It seems somewhat small. Lots of artsy things around, but actually I think that's something Chicago's known for has been pretty artsy. Uh, I'm going to go see this blob they call a bean here soon. Alright guys, it's cold. I'm running out of cell phone battery and the last two Starbucks I stopped at didn't have any plugins for me to charge it with. Uh, but made it to Millennial Park and uh, we're gonna go check out some of these uh, cool little things here. Um, yeah, the uh, found the Christmas market's not open yet. Not open for another, I think, 20 minutes. So I'm gonna have some fun here first. We made it. Right here. The bean. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, my. But you guys never knew I was almost a pro skater. Would have made hockey, NHL, would have made NHL no problem. But the hockey season mixed with wrestling, so I couldn't. But I would tear it up. 
on this little ice arena. Hey, look at there's it's not called a bean, guys. It's not called the bean. I just call it the bean. I thought I heard somebody call it, but I would tear it up, but they're not ready for me right now. So uh show you guys my moves because like seriously, Mighty Ducks was made after me. Yeah, I was every player in that shit and the coach. All based off of me. I need to find a, a place to charge this cell phone or else it's gonna die and I'm not gonna be able to find the airport when I need it. So uh, hang in with me guys. We're heading to the Christmas market soon here. All right, we made it. Now let's look for some mulled wine, and uh, I think I found it. And I need some sausage in me right now. I've been craving some sausage ever since I left Germany. All right, here it is, my souvenir cup. Some wine with Christmas spices, and it warmed up. Let's see how it goes. That's actually really good. All right, even though I'm craving sausage, I think this would go better with something sweet. So I'm gonna look for a crepe or an Austrian strudel. This guy right here. So this is the apple strudel. It's Austrian, right? Austrian, I think? Apple strudel or no? Probably. Austrian apple strudel. And then this is bee sting. There's custard in here. I don't know, sounds good. And then obviously the wine. Yeah, we didn't get the wine. I forgot because I. All right, I already ate the strudel. Now I'm gonna try this guy for the first time. Uh, it seems like it's a little dry on top, but that custard should keep it good here. Let's try it. Could also be because it's cold. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it sounds really nice. That's one thing I don't like about German culture. Custard's really good. I'm not too sure about the pastry. But I'll eat it. This is a big of a deal ornaments are here because they're coming from Germany. There's a line to get into the store. But uh, I got to the food and the wine right away. Go figure. They do Christmas right in Germany. Look at this. That far beats it's dressing up like Santa Claus. Scare the shit out of some little kids. Holy hell. They have schnitzel, goulash soup, stuffed pretzels, crepes, German bratwurst. I don't have enough money, nor do I want to consume as much calories as I could here. This is a foodie's dream. Uh, all my friends from Kentucky who went to Germany and Austria, you guys, this is, this is fun. If you're ever in the United States, come to Chicago during Christmas and you can get a feel for G Germany and Austria. German bratwurst with sauerkraut, and we're gonna add some German mustard. I've been craving sausage in my mouth for so long. Mm. Oh, that's really attractive. There you go. It's good German sausage. Still got some of this left because I don't drink wine. But it's good. Having fun, guys. All right, just met a nice couple, had sausage with them. I didn't share mine. Uh, but uh, he brought up a good point. The next destination I'm traveling to is international. And on the way back uh, to Atlanta from there tomorrow, I only have an hour and 20 minute layover, which might mean I might have to try to con my buddy into staying with him because I'm not gonna be able to make it. But anyways, I'm here now, might as well enjoy it. Let me try the most German thing I'm gonna try all day. Ah. Uh, Die Coke. Go. This is a blue line train to O'Hare. There you go. Pop goes out of there and get straight with you. Right, Bob? 
nice gentleman on the train wished everybody or God blessed everybody and God blessed me and said keep wearing nice clothes I'm wearing sweatpants right now and uh, what might be a female jacket that I got from Asia online uh, speaking of that they uh, probably won't let me on business class if I make it which it might uh, might not make it right now currently I'm 11 on the list with 14 seats available so four more people come I might have to switch my second destination on the fly. So, here goes nothing. I'm confused and lost looking for Terminal 5 and every now and then I find signs and then they disappear. Right now I found a sign, so we're good. I think we're crossing a bridge. Okay, so we're on another plane. I'm tired. We got an hour before the flight leaves, and right now it's still looking like I'm going to get business class. Um, all I want to do is eat and sleep right now probably good that I didn't sleep much last night because I'm getting to destination number two at 8 a.m. their time so still hoping for the best <laughs>